Faith and Politics. As Catholics, how are we called to engage? How can we live out our faith in and out of the voting booth? As followers of Christ, we are called to participate in public life. It's about voting and getting involved in our communities, serving those in need and advocating. There are many ways we are invited to work with Christ as He builds His kingdom. The Church's obligation to participate in shaping the moral character of society is a requirement of our faith. It is a basic part of the mission we have received from Jesus Christ. We work to protect both the unborn and families in poverty. We advocate for the dignity of immigrants in need of welcome, to put an end to racism, and to protect the religious freedom of all. We are not aligned with any party, but we shine the light of our faith to influence parties to which we may belong, as well as our elected officials and those in our communities. As Catholics, we must also imitate Christ's love and compassion by modeling civility where we live, work, and worship through seeking to understand, through treating others with respect, and engaging with them, even when we disagree and by approaching conversations with love and charity. Together, we can be witnesses of faithful citizenship. As Catholics, we witness to the life and innate human dignity of all people, those not yet born, victims of war and racism, persons with disabilities, migrants and refugees, families affected by poverty, those on death row, the elderly and those nearing the end of their lives. We recognize the image of God in all people. Human life is sacred. The dignity of the human person is the foundation of a moral vision of society. We can all play a role in protecting human life and dignity by voting, by serving, and by advocating in our communities all year, every year. We do this in our daily actions to honor each person's dignity, by responding in love every day to hardships, by speaking up when we see something wrong, by listening to others and their concerns, by advocating for the life and dignity of all. By working to protect the life and dignity of all who are created in God's image, we can answer the call to faithful citizenship. As Catholics, we promote the common good so that every person can not only live, but also thrive. We seek to protect the rights of all people to life, to food and shelter, education, health care, decent work, we seek to ensure religious freedom, freedom of conscience for everyone, and we work to care for God's creation and our common home. We seek changes to unjust systems locally, nationally, and around the world. All of us are called to work for the common good, in our families, at our parishes, in our neighborhoods and workplaces, and in the voting booth. Our faith-inspired action can transform communities and systems so that everyone can thrive. We are called to work together for the common good of all. As Catholics, we seek to imitate Christ's example of love in our families, neighborhoods, and around the world. How we organize our society can allow individuals and families to thrive and participate or prevent them from doing so. We are called to protect the family founded on marriage between a man and woman and a child's right to a mother and a father. We are called to help women and children fleeing poverty or violence. We are called to help every person fully participate in their communities and have a voice in decisions that affect them. We are called to protect future generations as we care for our common home. We are called to strengthen our global community. 
A basic moral test for any society is how it treats those who are most vulnerable. We will be judged by our response to the least among us. We must seek the good of our neighbors, those not yet born, those who are immigrants, those who experience poverty or racism, our brothers and sisters around the world who are victims of war and hunger, all who are marginalized. We can make a difference through voting, serving, and advocating all year, every year. Merciful Father, thank you for inviting each of us to join in your work of building the kingdom of love, justice, and peace. Help us to value all whom you love, those not yet born, those in poverty, those in need of welcome. Guide us to imitate your charity and compassion and to serve as models of loving dialogue. Amen. Amen. Amen.